Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters. This is, uh, ah, crap, I already forgot what this mission's called. <laughs> uh, opening moves, I believe this is called. Um, so the, uh, the escort of the convoys has started, and according to the briefing, the first few days would be tough. Many taking southerly rounds to keep as far away as possible from the Soviet submarines reported surging south from the Norwegian Sea. So, uh, yeah, we haven't really gotten official orders as of yet. But our helo's on stats 15, which is very nice, so let's go ahead and uh, put him on our stats 5 there and just get him airborne. Because I'm assuming we're going to be searching for some uh, some submarines out here now at this point. Might as well throw the Nixie out there. In case anyone starts to launch torps on me here. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, where are we? Can I discern our position here. Okay, this is probably the, uh, the edge of, like, the Canadian continental shelf here or whatever. So, uh, we're probably coming up to, like, Greenland over this way or something. So, uh, yeah, a journey has started. We have not gotten anywhere. We're not really, uh, not really close to anywhere in particular. As you can see, there's no landmass within this map at all, which is kind of, uh, unnerving, to say the least. Um, we got a lot of stuff on the toad here. That looks like it's us up here, and then this is... Okay, it looks like we have a layer. It looks like the toad is dipped beneath the layer, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, toss off a bathyotherm sonar buoy to tell me where this layer is. It takes a little, little second here to load up, and then you just launch it. And this one will, uh, come through really quickly. It'll activate really quickly, so, uh... I'm not going to have to wait like five minutes here for the, uh, the son of to go active. We can just instantly pretty much get it on the, uh, okay, well, first we have to, did it launch? It did launch. It didn't really tell me. Did it launch? No, it didn't launch. I, I guess it's just taking a little bit of time at this point. So, yeah, once I gets in the water, we can pretty much get data from it just about, just about right away. There it goes. Oops, sorry about that. Hit the microphone. So yeah, let's see if we can uh, get that up on here already. Channel 1, it should be. No, we're going to have to wait for this to get... It's probably just going to take a few minutes for this to go hot here. Um, uh, so sensors. Uh, we're probably trying to keep MCON here. Which means uh, emissions control. Uh, so we can bring out the old binoculars here. We should be... There should be like... We should be leading a fleet or something around here. Not a fleet, but a convoy. I'm not really seeing anyone now. Uh, based on the totals, that like they were all really behind us. It said we were the the briefing said we were running a flank screen or something like that. Flank escort for a small convoy. So that means what that means is probably there's probably another parry out here, and the two of us are uh, taking turns sprinting, sprinting forward and taking a listen. And it's like sprint and drift. It's also a submarine tactic. Um, so that's probably what's going on. We're just really far ahead of the convoy right now, trying to screen out any potential sub threats and this is just us that's all that is and then we got someone else who was out here what's SLQ32 um let's check because I don't know what sensor that is I'm not as familiar with the OHP sensors uh SLQ32 SLQ32 is of course the uh da -da -da, electronic warfare Intercept. Very okay. Very good. So we got an intercept contact over here. Then why is it like making a faux solution on it? All right. So I might try and uh, finally start doing this TMA on here, but it's really hard to do. I don't know if it's really hard. I've just never figured it out. The tutorial kind of glosses over it. I don't really know how to. I mean, I can't imagine it's like that much different than than the other stuff. The stack is in a different position too. The the dot stack is kind of like right along here. So it's a little confusing in, in regards to that. And then the other tracks just like don't show up on here, so I don't know how this thing works. Track merge report, merge with no, I don't want to merge it with anything. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to try and figure this out at some point here. I know I need to. But for the purposes of hunting submarine, you don't really necessarily need TMA, just looking at the summon buoy data is usually good enough. Just because you can drop a submarine right on top of it, so you don't have to worry about the speed of your weapon um, it's pretty much negligible I want to know where that other sub is. Alright, let's see if this uh, bathyotherm 
probe has gone hot here. No? Oh, well, that, well, that would be why. See, this mode is set to air here, so that's why we can't pick it up because our helo's not in the air, so set this to ship. And then put that to channel 1, and we should get a stream here for the bathiotherm. We got a layer at 518 feet. So our, our toad is like 3,000 feet, so it's definitely beneath that. So let's bring some of that in because we had people on the toad, and now we don't have anyone on the toad except ourselves. I don't know why we can pick up ourselves, but, yeah, we had all these contacts down here that we need to, we need to bring those guys back and see what they're doing. <clears throat> and this 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 toad broadband still kind of confuses me. Um, I, okay, so this is our actual course this is an absolute scale and then it just shows it doesn't show reciprocals it just shows 180 degrees of it so these guys could be here to our south to the southeast or they could be up here to the northwest so obviously doing a turn would uh, let us realize that um, okay this toad streams very quickly so stop I don't know if I want to bring that much in that should be sufficient yeah so we have re required the contacts here um, you know, let's let out a little bit more toad. It's uh, looking a little noisy there. We're going to go to about 1,200 feet, I think, and I think that should be sufficient. I think we have enough forward velocity to keep that from dipping beneath the layer here. Okay, that's good right there. And we still have them? Yes, we do. Alright, so our auto crew will chew through those, and we got another ESM contact out here, soon friendly. Well, let's go to the Electronic Warfare Station then and see what we're getting. P3 Orion, and okay, a Duke or Invincible. Yeah, so we got a Great Britain, Great Britain um, aircraft, or uh, not aircraft carrier, but frigate off here to our to our east, helping us right now. And these are the reciprocals. But for some reason, the Toad guy is not really classifying any of these other dudes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it for Sonar soup. New passive track. One, zero, zero, six. Okay, so we got a lot of contacts off to the northwest and southeast here, as I originally had predicted. Um, that's probably a convoy. Let's see. Oliver has a parry or PFG2. Um, let's see. Well, give me another one of these and let's see what we got. See, I don't know if this actually changes contacts or not. Here, do this then. Um, Here, uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how you do this here. Assign ATF. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, we probably have to click a different tracker here, and then we can look at them on the uh, the single beam. No. How, well, okay. Um, array heading, array depth, cursor frequency, cursor track, beam. Oh my God! I look like a complete dumbass, man. Who am I looking at right now? How do I look at these people? Alright, I don't really know how to look at those people th for the time being. So we're just going to let this chew. Our helo, when did we click the alert stats? 15. That was pretty much basically at the con beginning of the map, so... We're only about halfway there for him getting to alert status to launch him. Um, I'm probably going to scuttle this uh, buoy here. We don't need it anymore. We know what the layer is. And uh, as I've pointed out in previous videos, it does let you know what the depth of your toad is. So that's pretty cool. Track, one, New track. Zero, oh my god. One, two, that does not look good. Three, what is that? Five, zero. That seems to be in a very random direction. That could be... What is this? Oh god, a bear. A bear! Okay, we're getting contacts with the Ruskies here. Um, do I want to secure from MCON? Do I want to start radiating? That's a bear. It's, um... It's either going to be like a, uh, a pseudo, um, similar to a, uh, a sentry, as in it's going to be doing forward radar for a, a raid of bandits, or it's going to be, it said ASW, but I don't know why an ASW asset would be all the way out here. It seems kind of random. So I'm going to assume it's, it's in a supporting, supporting the, uh, well, let's, let's, let's check out the reference. I'm assuming it's in support of a raid kind of a thing here. So aircraft, they had bear F. Yes. Maritime reconnaissance, yes, that's what I meant. They're on that kind of a mission, I believe. So I mean if I stay silent, he's not he can't see us until he gets a lot closer. But if I go active, I could potentially see if other bandits are out there, but I'm 
leaning towards staying silent right now. It's kind of an ugly looking thing, isn't it? But the, the 3D isn't very good. I mean, <laughs> they don't taper off the tail at all or anything. It's just like, whatever. But either way, I still think it's a pretty ugly plane. And it has like um, propellers that go different speeds like on the same engine. I always thought that was kind of weird. I don't know how that works. But whatever. So we got a bear off to the north here. Bearing does not seem to be changing all that much. So he's pretty far away. Corsion AEW. What the hell? That does not look official. Yeah, the Baron does not really appear to be changing on him that much, so he's probably pretty far away. Um, I still don't know what the word is on these these dudes out here, what they are. I'm, I'm, just, I'm assuming that's convoy or something. It would have to be, wouldn't it? But that, you f I'd feel like they'd be more behind us, though, than just off to the side here. Well, here we go. Car carrier, super tanker. Okay, so yeah. That is them. I don't know which way they actually are. Let's we can turn here. Let's turn. We'll turn. Um, uh, bring me directly east here, and we'll resolve some incoming transmission. What do we have? Flash, flash, flash from Sackland to all Sackland ships. Top secret report: Iceland attacked and neutralized by Soviet forces. Expect more serious air and sub threat. Execute unrestricted air and sea warfare against Warsaw Pact forces. War plan Golf Tactical 7. Nuclear weapons release is not repeat, not authorized. Stout heart, Sackland Sands. Okay, we've just been released weapons free on Warsaw Pact. Um, Warsaw Pact ships, so shit. Uh, unrestricted. Okay, so that means I could engage on this guy if I, just, if I so desired. But, um, I don't know if I so desire just yet. His bearing has changed very slightly to the east. So he is pretty far off, assuming he's cruising. Well, we can give him a, a classify here, a very light classification. No, I want um, aircraft. Uh, TU. Okay, yeah, you can't type in just barrier to put in TU. Confidence high, hostile. So now that uh, the Ruskies have Keplovic, they can stage sorties out of there and uh, really start wreaking havoc on these um, convoys. It's a very important place to hold in terms of who can get supplies to Europe. So I think we're just gonna hang out in this. Um here give me the platform reference. I wanna see what his speed. Okay, that's his max speed, four hundred knots cruising, so it's probably safe to assume he's going three hundred for four hundred knots, so if he's going that fast that far away, to be going horizontally he'd have to be super far away. So we're it's safe to assume that he's probably heading towards us. That's probably a safe assumption right now if his bearing is not changing that much and the signal strength is like if it looks that good right here. Who was this? Was that the P3 that was just getting picked up over here? Yes, it is. And then down here we got a Duke. He's he's emitting, so I might as well be emitting if the Duke is emitting. Um, you know what? Let's save it here. <laughs> uh, R S R M O six. You know what? This I think this is M O seven actually at this point. I forgot what the mission was even called again. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it doesn't really matter if I know what it's called or not in the game. I'm going to put it in the title anyway. So, alright, we saved it. I'm going. I'm lighting them up. Air radar. And surface radar. Okay, wow. Okay, we got lots of bearing ambiguities resolved. Okay, so the convoy is out down here to the southeast. And we're about to find out very shortly if that bear is actually in range of the uh, the radars here. So as you can see, our air radar has a range of about 160 nautical miles. Surface radar is obviously limited by the horizon and how how, how tall our mast is up here. But uh, we should be able to get a hopefully get a bead on this bear at some point with our air radar here. Okay, the helo we need to make him launch. Uh, I'm not sure if we're to expect. Well, first we've just set a green deck. Set green deck. I'm not sure if we're going to be expecting any ASW assets out here, but we have to assume we're not ASW assets, but expect underwater assets. Wow, okay, our helo getting ready to launch. We just picked up the convoy here. Oh, no, that's the radar. The radar just started working here. The radar started twerking. Um, okay, we just picked up something really far off there with the link. I'm assuming helo link. I thought I turned the link off. I do. I do turn link off because otherwise it just makes this really cheap. But I don't know. Maybe I should just turn it back on because I feel like if you are on the surface like this, you would have link. 
But I like to turn it off for the sake of submarine hunting. Okay, there's the Duke right there, I'm assuming. So, okay, we're, we're not in front of the combo, we're just out on the sides here. But yeah, here's our big old combo right here, big old son of a bitch. New passive track, one, zero, four, zero, five, zero, nine, new passive KO, track. Sonar suit, new passive track, one, zero, five, zero. Oh, can you give me a bearing or something? I don't know where these guys are, these new passive tracks. Up this way, eh? Hmm, interesting. Okay, uh... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go turn Link that on. Okay, so we haven't classified the bear, so actually maybe he is really that far off and he's just shooting um, concentrated radar waves our way or something. Okay, no, he definitely has to be closer. That's pretty strong signal strength. Surprised I'm not getting him on the radar there. I'm picking up this P3 up here. Okay, I think I'm getting reciprocals here of these guys, yeah. I think that's what's happening. I did set the helo to launch, didn't I? Yes. Okay, that takes about another five minutes to do or whatever. So, probably like 14, 17, three more minutes or so. Our helo should be aloft and airborne. Okay. Uh, da, 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 ba, da, da, da. Broadband search. I kind of want to get the ASW. I want to get the helo up here and start checking out potential. Oh, potential submarine threats. I'm going to rec return to previous course of northeast. I don't want to get too close to the convoy. I want to maintain my distance out here a little bit. I kind of wish I could just disregard all these uh, sonar contacts out here because we have them on radar. That's good enough for me. And who's. We had this guy on the link from someone. I'm assuming my helo, but we've since lost contact on that. Uh, the bear has changed bearing a little bit, so I'm assuming more or less heading towards us out there and probably running a screen for some badgers or something like Well, not badgers, but uh, backfires. Maybe badgers. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. Uh, there's not going to be anything on the hull somewhere. Yeah, too fast for that. Uh, no, I will not be transmitting ray, uh, <laughs> active pings. That is just silliness. Gives away your position for no reason. And unless someone's really close, you're not even going to see him anyway. That Duke is probably transmitting, though. Who knows? Okay, what's our array depth at? Should, yeah, we could let out more slack if we wanted to, but frankly, I don't think we need to. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay. He should be getting airborne soon. And Mr. Backfire, not Backfire, Mr. Bear is just chilling up here. Running recon screen on our asses. Um, I don't have a radar contact on, so I can't launch a missile. Uh, platform reference. Uh, da, 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 da. Surface to air missiles, SM2, SAM. Range 40 to nautical miles. For, 40, to not, 40 to 90 nautical miles. Maximum range for this missile is model 81 nautical miles. Okay, so we might as well put a little 81 nautical mile range circle around us. That's our maximum range on the SAMs here. 81 nautical miles is right there, it's good enough. So there's probably a decent chance the bear is inside that bubble, but we have to pick him up on radar first before we can even shoot at him. Right, I think we're just going to speed up time here so the helo gets airborne. Bridge and then we're going to start poking around with some buoys and launching some stuff here. Because uh, there's not much else to do. Alright, uh, give me ship control. And we're gonna just throw some buoys out here. Throw some buoys. I'm gonna drop this. Drop this. And drop that. Because we know they're not there. And drop that. Drop those, drop those. Drop, drop, drop. Drop, drop, drop. All the drops. Drop everything. New passive track. One. Zero, five, two. Drop, 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 drop. Track. We don't really need those guys on the sonar, like I've mentioned three. before. And the control. odds of us picking a sub up on the five, on the toad are very five, slight. Okay, this bear has started to change zero, bearing a lot more five, quickly here. Six. He may be turning to the east. Probably chilling just outside of. Oh, this is probably him. That's probably him out there. Just about to get inside our launch envelope here. I'm going to go ahead and say this is our our bear. Uh, with low confidence, because I can't be too completely sure, but I'm going to assume that's our bear out there. 
and uh, he is getting close, and he should be passing within engage range any second now. We could potentially shoot him if we so desire. It looks like the P3 is vectored towards heading towards the bear. Ah, uh, maybe not. They can just troll. I mean, the, there will be no reason to do that. P3s don't have any ASW weapons in this game. All right, let's uh. Mm. Okay, so it can be hard to like get your bearings on here. So what you can do is look on the real map and just put uh, some markers of some spots of interest you might want to plant some summon booze at, and then the marks will show up on here. So we can do a. Uh, now, unfortunately, unless you're playing as a Seahawk, you cannot change the 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 buoy loadout on the Seahawk, which kind of sucks because most of these don't really need. But uh, here we'll launch a Vlad Shallow. Now, if you, I'm trying to get beneath the layer here, but the Vlad Shallow is a pretty deep, pretty deep son of buoy here. Um, it still goes down to 600 feet, which is beneath the layer, if you'll remember. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw two Vlad Shallows out here, and just one up here, and one up here, just to see if there's anything going around out there. But honestly, trying to like find a sub out here, and this is like trying to find it needle in a haystack when the haystack is like the size of an Olympic swimming pool or something, man. Especially if it's a diesel and they're going quiet, forget about it. Alright, uh, this bear is in range, so let's, um, I'm gonna shoot him down because I don't like him being out there. Why the hell should he stay out there if, uh, he can assign, let up an SM2 on the rail. I'm gonna try to shoot this motherfucker down. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, there's something I'm forgetting here again that I need to do to be able to launch this missile. Uh, da, 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 crap. Now, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Usually the fire button comes up. And then you can, uh... You have to confirm the launch. That's what the problem was last time. How do I get the, the cast to... I don't know. Um, let's see here. No gun control, C with no. I want missile control, yes. No, I don't want harpoon plans. I want an SM2 assigned to this bandit. It won't let me fire from here. I am missing something, obviously, here. But I need to shoot this motherfucker down. He's, he's putting a kink in my plans right here. Target is assigned on the fire control. Seven, Air radars are up. Okay, can I quick launch? Will it quick launch? I don't even think it's got a quick launch. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why the quick launch won't work. Okay, well he stopped emitting because this hasn't been updated in a while, so he's like running here. I'll be right back. I'm going to check out the manual and see what's going on here.